Hello, this is Sam in Wyoming, and in the following video, I'm going to show you how I make some of the elements of this box. I'm going to show you the finial and how that threads into the nut underneath the lid. I'm going to take this apart, show you the components. Again, I'm not working on all the parts of this little box. The nut is threaded on through the lid with this finial that I'm going to show you how I thread. And the very top of the box is a little washer. It sits in there. There's the finial. And I put the nut back on. That screws on the base of the finial. Now if you're wondering how I made that nut, I simply took one that I had in, in stock and I just traced around that and fine-tuned that on my um, sander. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how I put that lid detail together. Okay, that's a piece of lignum vitae that I'm going to use for the nut that will fit on the underside of the lid and that will have the female threads in this part of it. So let's go take a look at the first element. We'll go turn this uh, finial, at least part of it, and do the thread chasing on it. I have chucked up into my lathe a piece of blackwood that's going to be my finial element and it's also going to have the male thread on this end. Got that in some pin jaws. So I'm going to turn my lathe on with my spindle roughing gouge. I'm going to I'm going to take that down to round. Now I need the dimension marked on my blank for the length of the male thread that's going to sit inside of the lid. So I'm going to mark that now with a pencil. And I'm going to take this down approximately to where I need to uh, with this beading and parting tool. Okay, now here's the washer that I'm going to be using, and I have the dimension of that inside uh, diameter on my calipers. And I've got a little bit of a taper right here, and I'm going to mark that with my calipers. And I'm just a little bit big, so I'm going to take that down a little more. Now I've got that marked and I'm going to uh, bring my camera in a little closer so you can see the ring I've got on there. Okay, with my calipers I've marked the diameter and on the left side it's too thick so I'll have to take that down obviously. But I've got that dimension and I can use that as a guide. Uh, to take off the wood on the rest of the way on my finial that's going to be the male thread. Now I have my male spigot or tenon ready to be threaded. I have the uh, washer on there. It fits. I've got a line marked on here. This area here will be threaded. Okay, I have my finial chucked up into my pin jaws. I need to establish 
a chamfer on the front of my threads and I need to establish a recess at the back of the threads so I can pull my thread chaser out I'm ready to chase my threads. I'm going down to uh, chasing speed, uh, just about 300 RPMs. Now the reason for the chamfer on the front is so that you can start your thread. I got my tool at 45 degrees to that chamfer. And I'm going to start with the second or third tooth and try to make an entire pass all the way through. Now once my thread is established, and I think you can see that, my thread tracer really is just following that groove that I've established and I'm putting some pressure towards the threads and I'm starting to move my thread chaser to a 90 degree position like that and I'll continue chasing the threads. You may notice my left hand really isn't doing a whole lot. Just kind of moving the, the chaser back to the beginning. Now I still have a little bit of a taper on these. I'm going to change the camera angle and do just a little bit more thread chasing on these. Now I have just a little bit more thread chasing on my male threads here and I realized as I was chasing these threads that this diameter is too small for my female Thread. In other words, I have to uh, fit my male threads into a size, uh, a hole that big, and my thread chaser won't fit in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that with a metal tap. This is a piece of boxwood that I use to turn finials. And I just uh, thread the uh, bottom of the finial, and that goes into that female opening. So this is the same size I'm going to use for my project. And I have just a little bit more to go. It goes that far and it's, it's tight, so I'm going to uh, take off that little taper. Now I have just a little bit more thread chasing on my male thread here. The threads are okay about the first half, and I need to take off a little bit more from this point right here. Now something else I'm going to do, those threads look really nice. I'm going to put a little bit of wax on my threads, just a little bit of soft beeswax, and that helps uh, lubricate the threads and cut a little bit easier. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chase just a little bit more on those and spread that wax out. Now those look really good to me at this point. I'm going to shove my lathe off. Now this is my thread chuck that I use for finials. 
and I'm going to test fit this. This is the same size as I need for my female thread. Uh, I think those threads are, are good. We'll go on to the next part of our project.